In this episode, we travel to one of the most remote and exotic locations in the world, the Maldives. Uh, this particular video is a quick review of the W Resort in the Maldives. We took a direct flight from Houston, Texas, all the way to Doha, Qatar. It was about 14 and a half hours. And then from Doha to Malé, which is the capital island in the Maldives. And then from Malé to the W Resort. The trip from Malé in the Maldives to the resort uh, was done by a seaplane. Uh, super cool. Um, I never experienced one before. Uh, and it was a neat way to kind of make our, our grand entrance into the resort. Upon arrival, we were greeted by our welcome team and offered some nice refreshments. Uh, and then hopped on a golf cart where we got a little tour of the island. What's up guys? So we have finally made it after a 30 hour journey to the Maldives. We're staying at the W. Um, we ended up getting a overwater bungalow um, and they have it broken up into two different sides. They have it into the lagoon side and they have it into the beach side. We chose the lagoon side um, personally because I think the water is prettier and clearer uh, and my girlfriend doesn't really like uh, not seeing the bottom or dark parts of water. So, uh, but it also gives you a hammock to chill, which overhangs uh, the lagoon. So pretty amazing. I will flip this around and give you a tour of what I'm talking about. So this is a lagoon. And we are sweet or Villa 201, which brings you closest to the beach, but I mean, this water's insane. We literally just saw a shark swimming by, probably, I don't know, maybe three feet. The interior of the bungalows were really well appointed. Um, a really nice, comfortable, king-size bed that had, well, the view of the lagoon, it was a million dollar view. Uh, even had a view through the floor with the little portal and glass floor that they had. It was cool at night, they would light up and it would bring just different creatures to come towards the light that you could watch from inside your room. The bathrooms are also awesome. Uh, really nice soaking tub up against the window, allowed you to kind of sit in there, watch the sunset, enjoy the views. But again, majority of the time is spent outside. Um, they have a plunge pool, which I think I got in one time because uh, you've got this giant plunge pool <laughs> just by stepping off the deck. Again, the lagoon view gives you that hammock, which overhangs. If you get a beach, or I'm sorry, an ocean view, um, you don't get that hammock. So let's talk a little bit about food in the Maldives. Um, obviously, being very remote, it's expensive. Uh, it's expensive to get food there. Nothing's grown there. So one night we ended up having sushi. Uh, we had 10 pieces of sushi and a bottle of water that totaled out to $54, and then the plus plus fees, your service charge and your GST food and beverage. Um, it ended up costing over $60. Uh, our travel hack, we had breakfast included in our package, uh, and the W Maldives absolutely killed it with their breakfast. They had absolutely everything. And just to give you an example, seven different types of honey and jams uh, to put on bread, traditional uh, cuisine, uh, omelets, you name it, they had it. So we'd wake up a little late, we'd stroll into there, bottomless mimosas, eat some good food, enjoy the scenery, and then go lounge on the beach, and we were good for quite a while. One of the activities that we chose to do was the glass kayak um this is a good way if you're kind of afraid of getting in the water to view the sea life underneath you and in the house reef uh, the w's house reef is actually one of the most vibrant in all of the maldives so there's a lot to see there um it was fairly expensive i want to say it cost about 
60 bucks an hour. Um, but just again, another cool way of, of being able to see the reef without having to get wet. Also, just another word of advice. Uh, don't leave your windows and doors open to your villa when you're gone. You ready? Uh-huh, ready. Hey, I can hear that. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> Now, obviously, there's loads of wildlife in the ocean. We all know this. But was, what was unexpected was the wildlife outside. Uh, we were eating breakfast and saw what I thought was a hawk flying around. Uh, and lo and behold, they've got these giant fruit bats that are kind of near the breakfast area. And no joke, wingspan on this thing had to have been four and a half feet. It was... It was, it was actually pretty cool. We found the best time to see sea life around the bungalow, like big sea life, uh, was early morning. Every morning we'd wake up, make some coffee, and go sit out on our deck. And no joke, one morning we saw this amazing huge turtle just cruising underneath our bungalow. Uh, the next morning we saw uh, a, a really large stingray um, amongst many other kind of cool animals. So every day the resort would have a, a new theme. Um, and on this particular day, uh, this was their, their party day where uh, they had a DJ and bottomless drinks for $100 per guest. Considering you're on a really small remote island and the only thing on the island is your hotel, um, you kind of get to know everybody around there. Uh, we had the pleasure of meeting an awesome group from India. Uh, they knew how to have a good time, kind of had a lot of energy, uh, and we made a night of it, uh, to say the least. So after about five days of convincing uh, and getting Tiffany more accustomed to the water, finally got her ready to go scuba diving. Um, I may have spoiled her. Uh, the diving here, as you would expect, is insane. It's like jumping into a fish tank. Uh, the W has the best house reef amongst all the resorts. Now what this means is you don't need to jump on a boat and go to a dive site. You literally just swim from the shore and you can see pretty much everything and anything you'd ever want to see. Uh, for Tiffany's first dive, we saw uh, eagle rays, loads of fish, turtles, uh, sharks, which, you know, to be honest, had she seen this one that was passing by her, it may have changed the trajectory of her dive for her first dive for that matter. Uh, that thing was about five feet as it was just cruising in the shallows. Um, I kind of kept an eye on it uh, just to make sure. Uh, but the shark here are actually um, friendly. Um, they don't really come up to you. They're not too inquisitive and they're just, they're mind their own business. You mind their own business. Uh, but the dive itself was really nice. The water was fantastic. And the dive instructors they have at the W really made Tiffany for her first dive feel welcome. Uh, and, and, and comfortable, uh, which is important when you're 40, 50 feet underwater. Uh, we took the jet ski uh, out about 
20 miles to a remote sandbar out in the middle of nowhere with just absolutely, again, picturesque, beautiful waters everywhere. But it was cool because we were the only ones there. It kind of felt like a scene out of Castaway. Um, but it was, it was a neat experience. Again, just enjoying the water, our company, and uh, the views. So this is our brief overview of the Maldives, uh, the W Resort. Um, and, you know, when we got back, one of the main questions that we were asked is, was it worth it? Was it worth the 30 hours of travel? Uh, and I can unequivocally say, yes, it was. Um, there's not many places that just allow you to disconnect to your normal life than the Maldives. And then add in all the beautiful water, the culture. Um, yes, it was absolutely worth it. Uh, the W Resort did an amazing job of hosting us for a week um, and definitely did not disappoint. But all good things must come to an end. Uh, so final day, we departed on the seaplane. Everyone was there to say goodbye. Um, and uh, that is our time in the Maldives. Please like us, subscribe to the channel for more content.